I can't believe I am saying this, but here is our fully converted 2021 long wheelbase sprinter and we have officially moved in. So let's show you around. So a couple of days ago, we picked this up from Dave and Helen and said some very emotional goodbyes. Um, you'll need those. Guys with the key. I wasn't too happy because Dave said he'd give us a lift on the day so we could collect our van and he turned up late. The day has arrived. I'm not happy about that. That the day's arrived? Half nine we said. It's 9.42. I know, I've got my reasons and excuses. Where would you expect to find car keys? Where you left them probably. Exactly. Where, 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 where were they? Not where you left them. No. Helen's boots. Helen's boot. The boot of Helen's car. So we've actually been on the road for a couple of days and in true Connor and Liana style, everywhere we went, it was peeing it down with rain. So we have been blue sky chasing, which... Success! We finally found the set. It took, how long did we travel for? Too bloody long, if you ask me. Yeah. We made our way all the way to Yorkshire. It was peeing it down. So then we've made, we're in Gloucester currently, which was like four hours. And then we're still on our way to... <laughs> you don't even know. I don't know. That is Connor and Liana. We did actually film a van tour with Dave and Helen at the workshop, but they'd been working their bums off to get it complete in time. It was actually delayed an extra day to what we thought it would be. They'd had no sleep, everyone's mood was just a little bit down. So um, when I went to edit it, I thought that doesn't really show how we truly feel about the van. So we thought we'd do it again because we truly love this van and we didn't want to undersell it. So let's show you around our new tiny home on wheels. So like Liana said, this is our 2021 Mercedes Sprinter van. It is a long wheelbase, so we had loads of room because if you've been watching this journey from the beginning, you'd know that we created this van so that we could travel with Cozy and a future baby if uh, that ever happens. So we basically wanted to utilize the space for maximum storage and child-friendly environment. So let's head on in. So as soon as you come in, you come to my hub, which uh, no one else is allowed in, which is the cab. I have hit my head on this oh. so so many times and yesterday I did a proper it's big a, it's one. It's a skull crusher that is I had it? a headache for 10 minutes. Oh, that's cozy. Yoo so this is my domain because I do not the majority of the driving. Oh, here we go. All of the driving. So there's nothing really interesting about the cab, but we had the choice of high head space in the cab or to use it as a unit. And we obviously chose a unit because yep. we need more storage. So up here is a very messy cupboard. This is all the cozy's clothes in here. But if we come on down, my wonderful sh <laughs> So this chair also. Bear with me. swivels the into the van which means i can sit at the table i can work i can eat it just kind of opens everything up and and just to add to this the passenger seat it, it's a slight workout Also swivels, Woo! so we can literally get four people. We did it the other night. We had four people in here just chilling. Well, five if you think of Cozy If Cozy's well. here, it's five people. One, two, three, four, and even someone can sit on the bed. There's so much room in here. The table comes right out, so you can all kind of sit around it, and it just, it creates the perfect little hub. Which brings us not only to our dining area, but to our workspace. I think something that was very important to Connor specifically was a lot of editing is gonna have to be done, so we need a table for the laptop. But not only that, this table can also be taken outside. So this creates a nice outdoor work area or barbecue prep area, which is most likely gonna be used for just, you know, chopping the vegetables, looking out to the scenery. Probably best if we stood this way because it's building there. Get the seat, get behind me, will you? Oh. Wow. Wow, nice hedge. If we look up, we have got a very lovely fan. So if it gets a bit too hot, put the fan on. If I go to the toilet, put the fan on. <laughs> Cooking, put the fan on. So once we've been lounging for a little bit and we've decided, right, we're off to our next adventure. That is where we are able to remove our sofa. We lift this box. And then the van has two extra belted seats.
this will all be worth it because eventually not only will this be a sofa but it'll also turn into Cozy's bed when he gets a bit older and we've got an extra seat for if another baby was to happen we would have you know enough space so within these seats we have the Isofix points which is perfect for Cozy's car seat he sits in this one and he has a great view of all the windows when we're traveling and it's so easily accessible for me as well if I want to sit next to him during the journey if he's getting a bit upset or if he needs mama then I can just sit next to him and also I can have the table in front of me and get work done while we're traveling which is again another bonus more techie boring stuff again with the whole we need to work on the road thing we decided that our phones wouldn't be good enough because you get to signal spots that don't exist so we've decided that we're actually going to go for an internet that we could probably get anywhere so in here here, oh. <laughs> we've got Liana's makeup. <laughs> so behind Liana's makeup, we installed um, a Starlink system. So this is permanently on the roof of the van so that wherever we go, we can just literally link, it, it connects everywhere. There's satellites everywhere with Starlink now. So we can pretty much get connected wherever we are. We were planning on doing the NC500, but decided against it for our first trip because of Cozy and we didn't know how he was gonna deal with the van life. But even in the northest point of Scotland, you can still get internet with Starlink, so. We can go anywhere. And whilst we're on our travels, we've got a nice USB hub down here so we can plug in, charge anything. I mean, we have got plugs dotted around the van anyway, but it's just nice to have this here and also plug sockets behind these seats so that we can always be charged up. If you'd like to come on through into our kitchen, the first thing you'll see over here is we have a thermostat, two light switches. So this puts the two on over here and then this one puts the rest of them on. And Connor chose 30 pound switches. Because they go with the decor, right? 30 I'll stand How many by of that them decision. Have we got, though? Is it just the one? Yeah. Oh, I'll let you off then. Uh, just below these, we have our humongous fridge, which you don't really want to see inside, do you? Let's be honest. What's in my fridge, YouTuber edition? Ooh. Got a bit of bacon, a banana, a couple of. Starbucks drinks. And then, moving on to my favourite part ever. I am so excited about this. I keep forgetting what's the name of it? I uh, don't know. Oh, okay. A tap. A pulley outy tap. Look at that. We Bloody hell, don't yank it out. You could probably bath a baby in there if you really needed to. The biggest joke is Liana wanted that tap more than anything, and I'm the one that does the dishes. If you watch us, you'll know that the most important thing that we need as people is storage. You can never have enough storage, so more overhead storage. I mean, we're not very organised yet because we just packed and left. So at one point, maybe in the future, in maybe like 20 years, we'll be organised people. And these cupboards start from the lounge area all the way into the bed, all the same. Clothes over here and even down here, just more storage. There's a spatula in with that. Everyone needs a random drawer. That is the random drawer. <laughs> with some high aluminum That needs to go in the other drawer, actually. It does need to go in the other drawer. Does it fit? No, listen, this isn't a what's in my drawer tour, all right? We're just showing you around. Don't judge me. So on the flip side, again, I do most of the cooking. We had the option between gas and induction. We chose induction because I obviously- think, I feel like that was a mistake from us. You think so? Yeah, I think it drains our battery way too quick. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Gas is fumes. You don't really want that. Oh, okay. So although the induction hob does drain the battery, all you've got to do is find a hookup and charge yourself up again. But if you are on the road and it's maybe not the best weather for the solar panels, you've got to be cautious of how long you're cooking your brown rice for. And everyone knows that brown rice takes a long time to cook. As we found out two days ago, it took us about 30 cozy minutes. brown rice, it took half an hour just for it to get soft. And it took half the battery. Yeah. So brown rice is a no-go in van life. Over here, we've got our beautiful light switch, which controls these row of lights down the middle here. It's got a full dimmer switch um, if you need it. Uh, we just pretty much put it on full most of the time when they're on. That's really cool. And then above it is a little button that I'm going to tell you a little bit more about in a minute another thing that we said we needed we weren't going to have it but then we decided actually this is probably a necessity is a microwave everyone knows how a microwave works but it's extra cool for us because if we cook big meals for cozy we can then store it in the fridge and just heat it up later on or the next day yeah. so it's really helpful but even for us i mean yeah we could we could meal prep for five days and just heat it up so we save a lot of time again more storage down here this is more of our pantry area so we've got toilet roll because our toilet is under there which we'll show you in a we second do. and all of our food shall i show them the bogo the box and box and 3000 yeah moving on over to the bedroom area again we went for a fixed bed one reason being the van is massive so we can go for a fixed bed and underneath Again, more storage in the garage area, which we'll show you in a minute. For the front area of the garage, we have got Oon Boggo. It's just a camping toilet that takes chemicals. Um, you, 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 you do number ones in there, Liana does number twos. 
<laughs> which I'm not happy about. Why would I go to a dirty public toilet when I've got my very own toilet right there? Well, I'm just saying you're emptying it. I've I've done my emptying before and I did a great job. Well, I'm pretty sure you got it on your on your foot. Oh, how have you done that? You told me it would come out of here. It will come out of there. So this just pulls out. You do your business. You put it back in. You close the door. Yep. This also houses our water heater. I just press this in the morning and it gives us hot water for the whole day. It tells me when the waste tank's full and how much water we've got in our fresh water tank. Over here, we've got a one of them. Yep. The thing that you plug in to your car charge. You know what I mean? The car adapter thing. Yeah. Basically, that's for using like pumps and stuff so we can pump up our kayak and that and whatever. We've got some more USB slots to charge our phones. We've also got a USB-C in there because, you know, Apple. We can turn our fridge on and off, we can turn our water pump on and off, and we can turn the inverter on and off if we need to. All accessible. Just to the left of that is our heater, which is run by diesel. So if it gets a bit chilly, we control that from the panel up there. Not, not the perfume company. <laughs> we control the heater from up here, we just click this, set the temp, and the heat comes out. Welcome to the bedarino. Why does it, it smells like curry? <laughs> Why does it smell like curry? <laughs> What's that? Why is there curry on the bed throw? Because I threw it to the other side of the van and there was a plate of curry and it fell in the curry. But I wanted to put it on for the tour. To Who else but Liana nice. would get curry on our new bed throw? That was day two of van life. Very lovely, almost double bed. We could have got the pods that extend the bed area to give us, I think it was an extra couple of inches of leg room, but we decided to just go straight to the end of the van. And it, I think there's enough space. Yeah. yeah, so we basically just didn't put insulation behind here and just kind of went in a bit so we could have a bit of leg room. I can't quite fully stretch out, but it's comfortable enough. It does the job. And it's way less ugly than the pods that sit on the outside of your van. Although Connor doesn't enjoy the mattress, which is a... Well, it's just not my bed, is it? You know what I mean? And we can always get a different mattress. We can get a different mattress, yeah. If you lie across... Well, actually, you can lie whichever way you want and look upwards. We have our skylight. Woohoo! Look at that. There's currently plastic on it because <laughs> Dave couldn't get it off. <laughs> Dave said to us, we're going to leave it, we're going to leave the plastic on so we don't scratch it when we're doing the rest of the stuff. And uh, we had a bit of heat, so we think it might have melted to the screen. Yeah, we haven't even bothered trying to get it off. No, I think that's still a Dave job. <laughs> Which then brings us to... Oh, lovely that is. What we got in here then? The garage area. Basically, it's just, it's a garage. What do you expect from a garage? It's just full of the stuff that you need for travels, but you don't want out currently. I personally think this was the best thing we could have done yeah. for the van having mm -hmm. a fixed bed with this. Down here we've got Cozy's travel car, kayak, the projector, which we're eventually going to have. We didn't quite have time to get the projector in. So basically it's going to just hang from here and it's going to come down and then the projector's going to sit over there and we'll be able to watch TV. But it's a portable projector anyway, so yeah, we can, can just get a screen for like the side of the van or anything. We yeah. can watch it anyway. You can put it outside if you want. Yeah. But yeah, this is pretty much just all of our junk shoved in the boot. But speaking of garage, here is our awning pole. Oh yeah. So shall we go around the side there? We can. At the back of our bed is where our awning pole is situated. You just clip it out and head on round. So we can't actually use this awning when it's raining <laughs> or when it's windy. So I guess it's just for sunny days like today. Gives you a bit of shade, cosy can sit under it and play. It's definitely something that I'm glad we got. Get on out. Look at that. That's that is wonderful. wicked. So you've got a nice shaded area. You've got your table outside and it's, it's just, it's perfect. Whilst we're out here, I may as well tell you, um, we've also got the option of hookup. We should be able to go off grid for ages, but like I said, when you use the induction oven, it can drain you. This got us up to 100% in literally, what, Hours. 10 minutes. Another thing I asked Dave to sort for us was some sort of out, side lighting so if it was a nice night it wasn't raining or wasn't too windy we could sit outside in a little table but i thought it's going to be a bit dark so could we add some lights and with sprinters we found many challenges the way it's designed is just completely different to every other van so it can be harder to implement features but he came through that little button i showed you on the inside is actually to turn on and off a strip light of LEDs above the, well, just under the awning. Also, in addition to that, we've got some step lights, which you probably saw as installed. Simple tap of a button down there turns them on, which actually, at night again, does a pretty good job of lighting up the area. Plus, you're not going to stub your toe because you can see where the step is. Yeah, because you would do that. You would.
One thing you guys messaged us loads about, I was already gonna do it, but we were getting tagged in it loads, was a swing in the van, which we have got. Cozy's sleeping currently, but we did get a video of him in it when we did the tour at Dave's, so we shall insert that now. Your own little swing. Woo! 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 He absolutely loves it. This is a great little addition. And Dave has also told me if I bought a normal swing and put that up there, I could actually swing on it. That's how secure so, it is. Yeah. So just saying in the future, I shall be buying myself a swing. So I will admit that I do have a bit of anxiety when it comes to using facilities. So when it comes to having the toilet, but if I've got my own toilet, why wouldn't I use it? Which makes this feature 10 times better. Now you may remember our initial van build when we spoke about the design, Connor wanted an indoor shower, which would have taken up so much space. But eventually we agreed on an outdoor shower. We do have like a little tent thing, but we haven't got that out yet and I'm not getting it out because I will not be able to put it back in. Open the little flap. I've already had a shower by the way, just saying. Pop it in, set your temperature and then you have a shower. And then you just close it back. And just up from here, we have our mood lighting remote. And so you can access this from the bed. When the doors are closed, you can just pop your hand up and grab it. Look at that. So if it's night time and you need to see in the garage, you can pop that on and also it controls the mood lighting by the side of your bed. And just to round things off, another little boring thing. How come I get all the boring segments? We've got these blinds all the way around, which are quite heavy, and they're also blackout blinds. They're not quite blackout, but they do the job. And so, they match the van very well, don't yeah, they? So, yeah, Helen did a great job of picking those. So when Cozy goes to bed, we can put them down, even if it's daylight outside, and he'll be able to sleep. And also on the skylight, if we have it open, <laughs> we can have the blackout blind on there, which I think it looks like my <laughs> nan's skirt. It looks like recycled paper that you used to make in school. My great nan definitely had a skirt like that. And also a fly stopperer. So yeah, you can't really see that. Blackout, camera. fly stopperer, you can have it wide open. And yeah, that pretty much rounds up the van quite nicely. That is it for our new home. How exciting. We're off on our adventures now. I think we've spent the last couple of days trying to find the sun so that we can actually do some van lifing. So you'll see that in the next video and we'll see you then. We should probably wash this. Oh. Oh. Okay.